uh, in Singapore came out with um, guidelines on screening for colorectal cancer. Essentially, what has happened is they have actually re-stratified um, the people. So there are three main groups. One is of average risk, so it's like you and me with no family history. Uh, then there are people who are of uh, moderate risk and then there are people who are of increased risk. People who are of moderate risk have got maybe family members with um, uh, and colorectal cancer before or if they personally have had colorectal cancer or if they had ovarian cancer before or even having polyps, history of polyps before. So that, that puts them in the um, uh, moderate risk category. Okay. And then of course people of high risk categories are those with genetic syndromes, uh, for example polyposis syndromes which predispose them to getting cancers at a younger age. Screening modalities that are available is uh, one is the FOBT kit, right, the fecal occult blood uh, uh, test, um, or colonoscopy, or even some for some people virtual colonoscopy. Okay, so for these people of um, moderate and increased risk, the screening modality for them is actually colonoscopy. Okay, but for people of average risk, like you and me, no family history. Usually the recommendation is uh, to go for screening once they hit 50. So the magic age is 50. The fecal occult blood test is actually a way of screening um, to see whether you've got hidden occult blood inside your stool. Okay, And this is actually good to highlight to us to go uh, on further for any more tests like uh, for example a colonoscopy. At home with the kit, um, with your stool, what happens is you suppose inside you have a little wand, kind of like a toothpick, okay? And so what you're supposed to do is with your stool in a dry toilet paper, you're supposed to stick it in to six different places, okay? Like that, four, five, and six. And then what happens is you're supposed to screw it back in and shake it. Okay, and depending on where you get the test kits from, you can actually either send it back to the clinic or you can pass it back to the clinic where they will do the test for you. And from there, this will tell us a positive means that you've got hidden blood, occult blood inside your stool. Okay, so what the clinic will do, they will actually take this and then with that, after the stool uh, is inside the reagent, the water inside, the, the liquid inside, you shake it and then we'll put it into a pot, kind of like a pregnancy test. And then you can run the test. It is positive if you end up getting two lines. Negative means that you don't have any hidden blood in your stool. If there is hidden blood in your stool, then that may be something that's a, a worrying. So the next step for this is actually to do follow up with a colonoscopy to make sure that you don't have any polyps or anything inside your colon or cancer inside your colon.